I've been playing Royal Giant for the past 400 years, and it's pretty much my go-to deck for ladder. But never have I encountered a deck as broken as this one. We're talking about Clan Wars, Challenges, Ladder, Path of Legend. This deck fits it all. And it's all thanks to the new Dagger Duchess, and maybe you've guessed it, the Evil Bomber. It feels like the majority of the people pretty much agree on that the Evil Bomber is a bit too broken right now. But don't hate the player, hate the game. But it just works so well in this deck and the synergy between the Royal Giant, the Evil Bomber and the Dagger Duchess, it's just out of this world guys. So let me demonstrate a few games for you guys and sorry for not uploading in a bit, but now I'm back. Enjoy! <laughs> Right into some battles guys and oh boy it's been a while since I uploaded I've been traveling and also having some difficulties with my recording stuff so sorry about that guys but I'm finally back and we're gonna have some blast here on ladder today so yeah I haven't really pushed so much so far in the season as I said I've been traveling and doing a lot of other stuff been with my girlfriend and stuff like that <laughs> so we're just gonna chill out here this is my absolute favorite deck right now this is what I am pushing with I'm always like a big royal giant fan and uh, with the dagger duchess it's actually really really good and um, yeah having a lot of success with it anyways guys I haven't seen like a lot of battle ram actually I thought that was gonna be like everywhere this season because the new evolved battle ram seems pretty crazy but I haven't seen it so much to be quite fair and a little bit honest anyways guys let's just see what we can make happen against Elias here so we're up against giant maybe it's giant graveyard I'm not sure we'll see we'll see we've seen the uh, the giant but we haven't seen the graveyard yet so we are already back to the evolutions here as well so looking pretty good for us so far. I think I'm just gonna start cycling my little prince in the back, getting my three card cycle going and uh, see what we can make happen. So he's not gonna, okay there's gonna be a bowler there. I'm actually gonna go with my bomber here in the back because I think we can redirect the bowler hits here if we are lucky. I'm actually gonna go opposite lane and I'm not gonna do much except going with the phoenix because I knew he was gonna use the mega, the mega mega me mega boy and uh, yeah that's gonna be a solid amount of damage. I think I'm gonna activate king's tower as well here. Yeah, no I'm not gonna do that. I need the fisherman for the um, giant there so that's gonna be tower it's a pretty easy first match guys and uh, not gonna lie so yeah just play it passively and just take it chill that's that's what I'm always talking about let's just go here again I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive now because he's like uh, yeah not able to catch up here so that's gonna be pretty nice and also a little bit gnarly that's gonna be a nice e spirit as well I think hopefully bam killing that musketeer that's perfect let's just go here with okay it's gonna be Tesla no uh, tombstone sorry uh, I'm gonna go here I will go with my uh, Hmm, I will go with this fella as well as this fella and I'm gonna use my, my barb stone here guys It's called the barb stone. No, it's not look at that. Look at there's just no chance We're gonna win the first battle guys 16 seconds left. Will we be able to get the second tower? That is the question of eternity So let, let's just do the the uh, the favor here of taking the tower and securing the victory guys first battle is win Sorry for looking down so much, but it is what it is Let's just fireball for the victory and let's jump into the next one let me know in the comments below what deck you are playing with and pushing with this season. I'm just really used to playing Royal Giant, that's why it's like one of my favorite decks because I just know all the interactions, maybe not all of the interactions, but a few of them and a lot of them. And this is my upgraded deck and uh, let's just go with the Royal Giant. Let's just cycle guys, let's just gamble here a little bit because he's not doing anything like super. Okay, it's gonna be Hog Rider. So that was a little bit bad, that was a little bit bad by me because now I have nothing for his Hog Rider. I'm gonna have to go with the Little Prince and just pray that he doesn't fireball early enough here. So that's my only goal here. I'm just gonna go with Hog Rider, knew it, I'm gonna have to do stability. So yeah, that's that's like what you have to do. That's just what you have to do, guys. But then again, the Dagger Duchess is working out for us quite well in these kind of scenarios when you have the daggers charged up. Let's just go with the Phoenix. So what I like to do here sometimes when you know they can outcycle you is go with the Phoenix in the back, uh, start a slow push, and then let your Royal Giant like pass exactly at the same time because it's gonna be so hard for them. It will probably go in front, but that's quite all right. So it, it's gonna be so much harder for him now. A few inches later and I'm gonna do this I, I don't know if that was bad yeah it was totally bad was totally bad because I missed the fucking yeah don't do that guys hit the musketeer instead and you will have a greater time of greatness at this point, I will use my uh, uh, fisherman. That's gonna be fine to activate. King no, it's not gonna activate King King's Tower. I forgot about that, guys. I forgot about that because of the dagger duchess just crushing the hog rider. And if he doesn't do anything like backing it up, I can pretty much come away pretty cheaply on the defensive side. Like he doesn't have like an ice column or something to tank for the um, daggers, but he does have the knight, right? He should probably have the knight. I I forgot if he played it. Anyways, let's just go here with the bomber because I'm leaking, guys. I'm leaking. Let's just also go with the Phoenix. Let's be ready for a little 
prince. We could use the little prince like this. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna miss the tower, not on purpose, but I will miss it. So I'm gonna also do this. Bam, he's gonna have to zap that. That's fine. Let's just do the bomber just to cycle. And we got some hits there. And that's amazing. I'm gonna use the Fisher boy. Uh, let's actually go with the Phoenix again. Nice. Bomber got it. Bomber got it, guys. He's gonna go with this. With this. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That's great. That's just so great, guys. That's just so great. Look at the hog red. They're not doing much, guys. And what I'm gonna do now is just go with my ability for the... Oh, look at that. That's great. Great balls of balls. Let's just see here if he's gonna use the zap or something. We're gonna break through here, guys. That's gonna be our second tower, guys, and second win. I hopefully regret that he's not trying to eliminate the factors of uh, singularities. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, because he's just giving me the Hog Rider for free. I'm gonna use my ability just to tank for the... Nice! He's gonna miss the Prince as well, he's stressing out, guys. Let's just see, he's gonna probably use the Valkyrie there. That's fine, let's go fish a boy here and let's just go in here, guys. Let's just go in and grab the Vic. We're gonna have to grab the Vic here. I'm gonna also use the Fireball here. That's gonna be a good Fireball this time. Um, Nice, he's gonna have to do something here because we're gonna break through. We're gonna break through with one hit at least and that's all we need. That's all dandy guys. Let's just go here with a prince because we kind of need to do that. Pray that he doesn't like oh, ultimately sacrifice my stigma here. Oh look at that guys. We can just fireball for the win here I think. Come on, come on. That's probably gonna be it, right? Yeah, it's gonna be it. Let's jump into the third one. We're up against Enzo here for a third battle and he's also rolling with the Dagger Duchess. I'm gonna just cycle a Royal Giant in the back. Maybe not always like the best opportunity and thing to do, but I'm gonna go bomb here just to cycle my Evos. Uh, he's gonna get three hits off, maybe. Yeah, that's bad of me. That was just poorly played. He's gonna have a building for sure. When I see the Princess, I'm thinking like uh, Inferno Tower or Tesla. So I'm gonna go here with my Phoenix in the middle. I'm gonna also go here. Look at that, look at that. And now I'm gonna go here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So it's gonna be in front tower so if we're gonna win this we're gonna have to like outplay this guy a little bit like make him not able to get the value onto the the royal giant that is so let's just go with the little prince here we can use uh, the bomber again i guess for his uh, obnoxious obnoxiousness he's gonna go princess um I don't know what to do, I'm, I'm not just gonna like let that go and I will go with a bomber here probably hit the tower isn't it no all right, it's not gonna hit the tower. So again, I'm gonna go with the Phoenix in the back. This is what you have to do. He's probably going to go with like the uh, Inferno Tower on the inside again because he's gonna be ready for it. So I don't wanna do that. I don't, uh, actually, I am going to go, but with the Phoenix in front this time, like this. Now this is gonna be much harder for him. Okay, it's gonna be much easier for him now because he, he just did what he just did. But again, we could maybe make something happen here with our ability to enhance the uh, uh, ab Aberachis. I don't know, guys, this is not working out. We're gonna have to try and work around the Tesla thing called Inferno Tower. We're gonna have to work around it someday and somehow. Meanwhile, he's just chipping away. So uh, I'm gonna have to do this. I was just looking back. I might actually have to switch side here, but I'm not gonna do it just yet because I will probably just give him spell value. What I'm gonna do is go a little prince here. Now, this time it's gonna be so hard for him there's no way he can make this happen, guys. There's no literal way. A little later. Okay, okay, there is a way. There is a way. There is a way. He's gonna do the same thing again. I don't really mind because I, I still, I just want to cycle to the evolved uh, thing here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cycle here, and he, he's out of, he's out of things. He's out of things, which is amazingly great. So we're gonna take the tower there because of the evil bomber. It didn't die, guys. And that's what you have to do: outcycle them, or just pressure them, or whatever, guys. You have to work around that inferno tower, whatever it takes. So I'm gonna do this. I'm going also use here because that's gonna be nice little defense and we're gonna go with another bomber doesn't he have like something super big here i'm gonna do this as well as an, ex an explicit tower let's just also do this because i don't like I, I, I do not like them i can't care less for the goblin thing there so i'm gonna go here just to annoy the heck out of my opponent and that's gonna be a win i didn't even see the timer guys the third battle is win let's jump into the fourth and last battle for today mm -hmm. last battle for today and let's hope it's gonna be a winning streak and i just you know i like all the kind of variations that we've faced so far it shows like a pretty broad picture of how good this deck is and how versatile it is and it doesn't really have like any bad matchups you can always like work around it somehow so let's see what last opponent okay now I, i'm thinking you know i'm thinking pekka i told you guys like before that I don't see a lot of Ram Rider at the moment but here we go here's the Ram Rider and uh, I think it's gonna be evolved I just think it's gonna be evolved guys let's just see if we can make something happen here he's gonna play with the Mother Witch interesting I don't see that all in every day but it's really good and uh, also some circumstances let's just see here the Dagger Duchess is gonna do wonders against the Ghost as well just so so good at the moment let's just go here I think he's gonna have the Pekka so I don't wanna use my Royal Giant unless I have the Fisherman in hand and now I have the Fisherman in hand and I think I'm gonna go here for the 
opposite lane and I'm just praying that I have enough elixir here for this push I'm gonna just oh look at that right off the bat he's gonna go in the back that's not good man that's not good and I'm gonna use the fireball here because I think it's just a necessary thing to do because the Phoenix has full health guys and it's gonna do a tremendous amount of damage to the Pekka before it even dies so that's great that's just so great guys but uh, yeah I'm thinking this and I'm thinking this and this okay maybe not maybe not like okay that's gonna that's gonna definitely break through. Hopefully the bomber can hit one more time. That's gonna be great. And we're all looking dandy and good right now, guys. So that's perfect. Cannoneer, you know, it's a pretty good tower troop. I would say it's the best right now, like overall. But uh, I'm liking the Dagger Duchess. I really am because it's just like, it can really bail you out at times. Let's just go here with the Phoenix and let's just fireball that because we are in the lead. We don't need much here. That's gonna die pretty quickly. The ghost is not a big threat anymore. Of course, it's gonna hit and make a little bit of damage. And that's fine, guys. Let's just see. No, we can't really do that, guys. Let's just do this. Maybe that's gonna be fine and good because I think yes, yes. Oh, he's gonna do the same thing here. That's great. That's that's amazing. I'm gonna have to fireball here. I don't know if I needed to do that, but I am gonna do that. And I'm gonna use my ability because that's gonna save my little prince. And I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here because now I think it's time to go here. Yeah, with my fisherman. I said I think it's time to go here so many times there. I don't know why I said it, but yeah, look at that. That's gonna be tower, and I don't think he's gonna be able to get back. I didn't see the evolved. Uh, there it is. There. It this guys I knew it I knew it was gonna come but it's not gonna break through I mean it's not that hard to defend to be honest it's not that hard to defend it is extremely valuable if you break through with it of course but other than that I don't see a big deal I heard a lot of great things about it like it's gonna be broken it's gonna be overpowered I'm talking about the evolved battle ram but I haven't seen it yet even though it's a really really fun card and I use it in my battle deck anyways guys that's gonna be it let me know in the comments below what you think and what you are playing with right now in the season to climb the top have a great one and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.